I'm at Trona High School right now. Those aftershocks, boy, we had a very active period last night between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. Nothing too big, but that one-two punch last uh, Thursday, 6.4 magnitude, and then Friday night, a 7.1. Get under the table. Get under the table. Oh, my God. 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 That was a bad oh, This is so bad. Oh, the front door came open. That's okay. It's okay. Just hold on. Just terrifying ordeals for people in Ridgecrest and Trona. David Bruegel showed me his cell phone video of his wife, Deborah, out by the backyard pool. When the 7.1 hit Friday evening, she managed to save her phone, but the pool's tidal wave took her down. David helped her up. At the laundromat in Ridgecrest, it was a big surprise. The ceiling collapsed, people running out. And at Home Depot, lights flickering and keeping appliances in place, a real problem. Roads, a real problem as well. Earthquakes buckled them in one place, a 500 foot stretch buckled in another place, 150 feet of blacktop buckled. Crews were awfully busy repairing them this weekend. Big town hall yesterday, and it was packed. I'll tell you, I've been here since Friday. People in this area have dealt as best they can with what they're dealing with. Most of them in a really good mood, too, and very, very welcoming to, to those who are coming in and trying to help. The agencies, the police, fire, government have been as responsive as, responsive as possible, too. But people here have concerns. They voiced them last night and got some answers at the big town hall. There's people that got to pay rent. No, we're not going to be able to make that. We've got a, a serious crisis going on over there, and uh, it's not getting any better anytime soon. People need it. Uh, electricity back on, but some people don't have water. And here in Trona, a big problem. National Guard handing out water yesterday. I believe they're going to be back doing the same thing today, and hopefully more and more people will contribute because, boy, they need it, and it is hot up here. To go without water, very, very difficult. Reporting live from Trona, Greg Mills, CBS 2 News.